Welcome back to The Broken Masterpiece. Today we get to take this piece of furniture that I found on Marketplace for 100 bucks, and we are gonna turn it into a masterpiece. In this tutorial, I'm gonna give you step-by-step -step on how to take a piece from start to finish, painting and staining it. So in this first step, you see that I'm taking all the drawers out and all the hardware off. Then I'm gonna take goof off and I'm gonna scrape off whatever stickers were put on here. We're just gonna get rid of it. Take a sponging pad, take your goof off, take your scraper, whatever you need to do to get it off. Next, I'm gonna take another degreaser and I'm just gonna rub it all over the piece. You can use hot water and TSP, which is trace sodium phosphate, or you can use a spray degreaser, whatever it is, and then you just wipe it down with a damp rag. Now I know sanding is not everybody's favorite, but it's gotta be done. If you want your paint to last for years, it really needs to bond well to the piece. So if you're getting down to raw wood for a stain, you're gonna start with 120 grit, and you're gonna work your way up through the sandpapers because 120 is going to scratch it up more. And the 150 and then the 180 are going to bring those ridges down enough so that it's open for stain, but it's not gonna be scratchy and a rough surface. The body of the wood where you're gonna paint only needs to be sanded once with 150 just to rough it up. Now once you get that done, you're gonna wipe your piece down with a tack cloth or damp rag and you're gonna tape off the drawers. Now I'm using mineral spirits over the part to be stained because it's going to really clean that wood up, get off all the sawdust and get it ready for stain. This was the most infuriating part. Make sure that you use the levels so that your lines aren't weird. <laughs> Um, I'm using paper over the part that you're going to want to protect. You don't want to get any overspray on raw wood. So when you're priming, use your favorite primer. Guess what? This one you can buy at Walmart. It's Rust-Oleum and it's paint and primer and it's so fantastic, especially for beginners. So I'm using it on this piece so that you can see that it works great. And this paint, especially if you're using it as a primer, you want to buy in matte. You're gonna sand any imperfections down. You're gonna wipe it with a tack cloth. I like kind of roughing up my primer like this, just running over it with a very light grit. So think, if the grit is lower, it's gonna scratch it up. If the grit's higher, like a 220, it's going to more buff the surface. Now I'm using my double duty control sprayer so that you can see that as a beginner, a $67 sprayer will get you this type of finish. It's so fantastic. Um, you can also paint this by hand. You just want to make sure that you're using really soft brush strokes towards the end and going in the same direction of the grain. The paint I'm using is a combination of mineral paints by Lily Moon and Dixie Belle. I loved this green and so I went with it. Now I did water it down a little bit to get it through my sprayer. You basically want it to run like the finish does. So it ha if it has that kind of consistency, it's good to go through your gun. Your top coat's gonna be a water-based polycrylic. You can buy it in Minwax or Verithane, whatever brand you use. You wanna put it through your gun after you've cleaned it, and you wanna spray it over the piece once the paint has dried. The best part is taking this tape off. Now I'm using frog tape and it makes the most amazing clean lines. For the finish for the top, I'm using Lily Moon's White Oak Barrel, and I'm gonna tape off my paint so that it's protected. Now if you need to put paper underneath because you are a beginner and you're gonna drip, I would suggest that. Now right here, I'm getting the surface wet. When you're using a water-based stain like Lily Moon's or Minwax or any water-based stain, it really goes on like paint and will get stuck if it doesn't have the water underneath to work with it. And so wet your surface down and then you can begin applying the stain. You wanna go pretty quickly and then you want to go ahead and wipe off when you've got the color you've desired. So the first step, you just wanna get it on there, wipe it off, see how it goes. If it's not dark enough, the other sides leave on a little bit longer. You can always come back and do a second coat, so don't stress about this first coat. You're getting it on, you're taking your shop cloth or paper towel, and you're wiping it back off. Now I'm wiping with the grain, so in this case the grain goes up and down. Oh. 
It's time to paint the hardware. You're going to want to get it out, you're going to wipe it down, and then you're going to spray any metallic line of paint on it. In this case, I'm using a dark bronze, but I actually went back over it later with a copper rose because I liked the color much better. Back to the staining part, so as you can see, the last strokes I do, or the way that I wipe it off, goes with the grain, and in this case, it goes left to right or right to left, so you are going horizontally to wipe that stain off to make sure that it goes with the grain. You are going to seal the stain as well, and because it's water-based, you get to use the same polycrylic in the sprayer as you did with the base. And so you can take that tape off and you can get to work sealing the whole piece and the paint a third time. Amazon has the best legs for dressers and hardware. So these were 15 bucks and they do have a blonde stain on them. And so I am going to restain them the same color as the body. Now this way that I'm using to stain it is a great way if you don't want to take the finish fully off. But if you don't have the denatured alcohol, then you can just go with a lower grit sandpaper, get more of the finish off, you're just going to have to do more arm work. The denatured alcohol and water combination dries the leg out so that we can just put the stain over it like paint. And so I'm actually not going to rub this stain off, I'm going to put it on really nicely with a foam brush and we are basically just painting the legs, we're going to let them dry, we're going to seal them and then we're going to attach them. Your piece is almost finished. Now, you're gonna wait till everything dries, you're gonna screw your hardware back on, you're gonna make sure all the tape is off, you're gonna add your legs back on. Now, mine already had these plates on it, so it was really easy, I got to just screw them right in. And here's your finished piece. Now, I get to put this on Marketplace, and I get to sell it for a profit, and it didn't take too much work. Thank you so much for joining me today on this painting and staining tutorial. Make sure that you click subscribe and share this video with friends. Thank you guys from The Broken Masterpiece.